When you want to share your Visio diagrams with other people, one of your options is to save the file as a web page. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So we're starting here with the IT asset management sample drawing. I've got a copy of it and I've modified it a little bit. But some of the notable features are that the diagram has three pages. You can see here two rack diagrams and then an overview topology diagram. A lot of the shapes have shape data fields. You can see they're changing on the left here in the window as I click on them. And this shape here has three hyperlinks I've added. If we right click on it, you can see there's three links there. And if we do the insert hyperlink uh, button, we can see that they're all defined here. So two of these hyperlinks, the rack ones, go to pages within the document. And the third hyperlink actually goes out to the internet to a www address. So let's cancel out of that. So in order to save the file as a web page, all you have to do is go to File to get to the Backstage area, then click on Save and Send, and then click on Change File Type. Now, I don't know if all editions of Visio have this option here, Web Drawing, VDW, but that's not what you want. What you really want to do is create a web page, which is way down here under Other File Types. So let's double-click that. And up comes a dialog. We can browse to a location. That looks good. That's my desktop in the Chapter 10 folder. I like the name. And if you are a pro or premium user, you'll have these extra buttons here that allow you to tweak some of the, the settings on export. Standard users don't have that. It's I think it's an accident. Microsoft didn't intend to make you pay more for customizing your web output. There's just some set of objects odd circumstances that caused a bug that these buttons don't show up for standard. So we can only hope that a patch or a fix of some sort come out comes out soon so you guys can finally tweak your web export. So we've got IT asset management.htm so that's not a Visio drawing. That looks good. We're saving as a web page. Let's click save and see what happens. So Visio does a little bit of work. You'll see some status bars turn green and our default browser opens up and you can see we've got a web page. This is Internet Explorer 9. We've got three pages we can click on and jump to, but you'll notice the pages don't fit very well in the, the diagram. And you also notice down here at the bottom that there's some Internet Explorer restriction thing going on where if I allow the block content, you'll see a market improvement in the way that drawing is presented inside the web browser. And what you can see is now we've got a drop down list that takes us to all the pages. You have to hit the green button after you select. You can see that the whole drawing fits nicely in the page. And over here you've got a pan and zoom control that looks very much like the pan and zoom control inside of Visio itself. So I can hit the plus button and zoom in. You see we get a little zoom rectangle that allows us to move around the drawing really nicely. We can resize that as well to get back. Well, let's go way in and you'll notice that this isn't an image. This is some sort of vector representation because the graphics are staying smooth no matter how how far in we zoom. This isn't a bitmap. It would it would look rough and jaggy if if it were. So let's zoom back out again. You'll see here there's a there's details that says control click a shape to view details. So we can actually come over here and hit hold down control. And you'll see that all the shape data fields have been exported as well. So we can actually see the data behind each shape within the browser. So a little bit more a little bit more interaction than just a just a picture would offer. If we go back to the first page, you remember we had three hyperlinks on this shape. Well, if I right click, nothing happens. You, uh, you see silver light shows up. So this is actually a silver light control, which is Microsoft's sort of version of flash, if you will. That's oversimplification, but that's what allows this rich interaction. If I control click, nothing happens other than the shape data shows up, but we get this nice little highlighting of the shape. And if I simply click once on it, it, it goes to the first hyperlink, which was to another page within the diagram. So the hyperlink, the first hyperlink is preserved, but all three hyperlinks do not show up as they did in the drawing. So let's go back to the drawing one more time. And remember here, we, we could right click on the shape and pick one of the three hyperlinks. Or if we control click, Visio gives us this nice little pop-up menu for choosing multiple hyperlinks. 
there's one other option. There's an option to get this to show up in the web, but it's only going to work for pro and premium users because these special export buttons are missing. So let's go back to File, Save and Send, change the file type, double click on Web Page. We'll keep the, the name that we used before, but this time we'll go into the Publish Settings. And under Advanced, instead of choosing XAML, which corresponds to the Silverlight control that we saw earlier, we'll pick VML, which is also a vector format, but it's an older format that's probably going to go away and actually requires the use of Internet Explorer. So there's a few disadvantages to this, other than the fact that it, it actually works for multiple hyperlinks. So let's see what happens when this gets exported. Again, we get a control warning down here. We'll allow the black blocked content. If you're hosting this on a, on a network location, oddly, you won't get these warnings. I guess they assume that you're not going to publish something on your network if it's not safe. So we'll click Allow Blocked Content. If I right click here, you'll see that it doesn't say Silverlight this time. So this is actually the VML stuff. And if I click on the shape, you'll see now that all three hyperlinks show up. So there's a some bugs or limitations or whatever for multiple hyperlinks, but uh, generally people are more interested in the pan and zoom control, which you get with Silverlight or the VML. And if you're standard, you don't have. If you're a standard user, you don't have much choice but to have the default Silverlight export, and you still get the control click to see the shape data when you use the VML export, just as you do with the Silverlight export that we did first. So that's how you save Visio diagrams as web pages. It's, I think it's quite nice that the uh, hyperlinks between pages are preserved. You get this great pan and zoom control, some rich interaction on, in, the, in, the, in the sidebar on the left. And all in all, it's a very rich experience. It's a lot better than just a few static images being exported.